how do you access these uh, these variables because they're inside functions you can't get to them well we're going to use a little trick uh, that I picked up a while back and this is pretty dang cool so what it is is basically we tie two functions to the DOM we call those functions and uh, we're going to call those um, we're going to call those uh, observe and notify so this file here I'm going to put a link in the description to how to get these this, this uh, file here okay um, this is how this is really cool so we're going to call that that's going to be a system file so new system okay new file communication.min.js paste this in there what oh, this guy does I'll scroll slowly if you want to type it out yourself what this guy does is this guy I'll put I'll show you where it's actually at here it's down here so see we put a uh, window dot observe and window dot notify oops notify that puts two functions on the DOM so those two functions and debug but anyway don't worry about that for right now it allows us to communicate between two functions so for example we can do um, function we can do uh, serve. Say hello, Oops. hello, hello. Anytime this is called, we're going to run this function. We're going to say console log. Um, hey, and we'll let's say we'll copy this here. We'll go here. Okay. Now we refresh here. Oops, observed or not? Oh, oops. Hold on, I got. I didn't include that. That's why. Script source. I promise this is gonna get really cool. Just give me an image that spell it out. Communication dot min dot js. We'll save that there. We'll refresh. Uh, hold on. Well, I must have missed something up here. Oh, js. There we go. Okay, I go here. We say notif notify. You'll see it pops up. Uh, hello. Two functions respond. Hey and hey. So now we can have communication between different um, everything inside these functions. Now we can have separate files. We can cat everything. It makes it really really nice. We'll get more into that a little bit later. So so now we need to actually build an actual page, right? So. Using director, we'll just build a real simple little page. But first, we need to grab. Um, I don't like that because Jade Bootstrap's website's not in Jade; it's in HTML, so it's kind of hard to. Um, we'll just do this real quick. So we'll go, this is a, another project I'm working on, so I'm gonna just. It's easier just to do it this way. Let's so grab the nav bar. We'll copy this stuff here. We will create a new nav bar, new file, nav bar Jade. We'll cut all the sort of stuff out like so. We'll cut this stuff out here. Oops, hold on. That was not good. I'll actually leave that in for now. We'll just do this for right now. Navbar L I A H ref. Now we're going to get some links and a nav bar and we'll sort of make it look kind of nice, okay? So uh, let's start with this. Let's say dash board and then we'll create the um an about page right href about page now we need the links to these on the page itself so we're going to do that in sections so what we'll do is we'll say uh, include nav bar this is jade here um, so it's going to include the nav bar right there then we're going to do a div dot can initially need to put actually we're going to need to do some bootstrap here as well. So, um, let's see, bootstraps. Let's get the JavaScript file real quick and then we'll grab the CSS here in a second. Um, I believe that's right. Yeah, I believe this is pretty sure this is right. We'll grab here bootstrap strap.min.js. Paste that guy in there. 
um, we need to go into here. We will we need to put Bootstrap after jQuery, so it, you, it uh, leverages jQuery. So Bootstrap.min.js. Then you get the CSS file. Well, Bootstrap's pretty cool. I actually like Boot Swap, Boots, oh, Boot Swap a lot better. Boots, boot, boot, boot swap. These are just themes for um, what was it? Boot Swatch maybe. I don't know if it's Swatch or Oops. Boots Watch. Okay, I mean, never mind. My favorite one is Space Lab, so we're gonna grab that one real quick. Um, Space Lab. Where's Space Lab at? Space Lab. Oh come on. Space Lab. We're gonna download the min. Grab this guy here. Libraries. This is the. That's the CSS. Oops. So you create a new folder for CSS. Create a new file here. Boot. Watch.min.css. We'll paste that in there, like so. We'll go into here. We'll say link href um, CSS boots watch.min.css. So there, now we have jQuery boots bootstrap. The director, the communication file, jQuery, sock cluster, and just the basic app file to mess around with. Actually, we're not using this anymore, but I'm going to keep that in as a placeholder for adding new scripts later. Okay, so now we have Bootstrap. This should work just fine. We're going to use just a. Actually, yeah, we, no, we don't need a black. This is a. We don't want a black app bar for right now. Okay, so this, and we're going to do div.row, div.com.md.12. If you don't know Bootstrap, there's a whole bunch of um, tut tutorials out there that are really awesome that will give you a lot of cool stuff. Code School has a lot of good stuff on it. Anyway, that's not really what we're going to talk about here, so I'm expecting everyone to kind of know more about J JavaScript, and this is strictly about uh, Sock Cluster. If you want to know more, email me. Maybe I'll make a video series about it. But right now, we're just going to assume you know all that stuff and you just want to learn Sock Cluster. Okay. So, here we go. So, we want to do um, style. Style equals margin top with 50px. This is going to push it down so you don't, because note your nav bar, it's fixed top, so it doesn't, things can be underneath it. And we're forcing everything to be below it just to make sure that um, things don't get hidden behind the nav bar. Okay, so we're going to be using sections to control stuff. So we're going to say data route. Um, I believe it's just dashboard. Oops. Dashboard. Oops. Dashboard. And we're going to we'll include something later with that section. Um, data route. Oops, uh, about, about, okay. And we're gonna, in, oops, include a file. We'll say, let's see here, we'll do dash, we'll just do dashboard dot um, shade and then include um, about. Actually, we don't need to do dot shade, I forgot about that. So you include these two files, so dashboard dashboard dot jade and about dot jade okay we'll do h3 dashboard save h3 about save that now we have two pages we need to hide these so we'll do um style display none Oh, that's um, Control D if you want to know how to do, or, or not Control D, just Control. So click here, hold down Control, and you can type in both places. If you want to um, grab two things that are the same, you Control D, grabs them like that. Kind of cool. So like you can do, so you mess up, you can do like this and correct all three at the same time. Anyway, uh, it's a uh, cool little sublime stuff. Though most IDEs have things like that. Okay, so now we have pages that can be shown and hidden. Right, so we have a spa aspect, so there's no page refreshes. You have everything on one page, and you just show and hide as you go. Right, oh, 
one this needs to be fixed and it's it's worse now we have our we have our 